just loved astronomy since I was a kid. I've always, you know, wanted to help explore the universe, and this is a really great way to do that. I've always been, like, super interested in supernovae, these black holes, these super violent big things in the universe that we don't know about. Mateo Paz combined astronomy with machine learning systems designed to classify celestial objects. The Pasadena High School senior's ingenuity earned him the top prize, 250000 bucks in the Regeneron Science Talent Search. Congratulations, Mateo. How exciting is that? And what a great face. <laughs> That's an amazing Yeah, one. yeah, I can't yeah. really escape it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was your moment. Uh, yeah. Congratulations. First of all, how did it feel to win? It, uh, obviously, as you can tell, I was completely surprised. I met a lot of really, really smart kids there, and I just had no idea that I'd come out on top. Yeah, so. okay, so this was obviously in the heart of Washington, D.C. For, for those of us that are not great engineers, explain your, your science project in the most simple terms. Yeah, so what I did is I took data from one of NASA's missions called the WISE Space Telescope, and I put it through computers, made them think, and what I did is I found these objects in the sky that are changing in brightness over time. And so you used infrared, right? Yeah. To, to sort of see and, and AI together yes. to spot a bunch of objects that nobody had spotted before. Yeah. You're, you're like the first person in human history to spot these objects. Yeah. So. It's, you know, it's a big undertaking. It's a lot of data that these space telescopes put out, but using AI, we can get some new insights, look at the, um, the whole sky in a completely new way, and we can really draw out these new discoveries that people haven't seen before. So you, as an 18-year-old, basically created or discovered things in the universe that nobody knew existed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> it's special, yeah. yeah. Every, uh, every star, it's like a, it's a new person. They have their own personalities, own characteristics, and... Yeah. You know, we have that registry. You should be able to get to name, like, many of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you'd think. This. You'd yeah. think. You shouldn't have to pay for that. So <laughs> what, what are the, the practical implications of, of knowing that all this stuff is out there that we didn't know about? Yeah, so my catalog, called the VARWISE catalog, um, I'm studying things called variable objects, things that are changing in the night sky. This can actually be used by other astrophysicists and other astronomers for their own studies. There is already a group at Caltech using it to study the masses of these certain kinds of stars in the universe. We can also use these objects to measure how fast the universe is expanding. We can even find exoplanets, which might be habitable for humans in the future. What made you think, this is my thing, this is what I'm going to do? You know, I've always loved astronomy. It's, you know, just the scale of it is very interesting. Um, but. You know, the opportunity to work at Caltech about two years ago, I really saw that I could make this contribution and, you know, just a lot of hard work. You end up being able to do things that you didn't think you could do. Yeah. yeah. So um, now you're 18, you're mm -hmm. thinking about colleges. Yeah. Where are you thinking? Is Caltech one of them? Uh, <laughs> I was accepted at Caltech, but it's very, very close to home, admittedly. Yeah. So, so I really want to move somewhere away. Okay. Yeah. So where are we thinking? Uh, either Stanford or MIT for the most part. Pretty, pretty great, <laughs> pretty great choices, and we're looking at, what, what are some of the other things you're into? I guess we're looking at you, at, I don't know if that's at prom or oh, something yeah. near that, skate, snowboarding. Um, well, lately I've been snowboarding a lot. Uh, I was in Tahoe just for spring break this last week. That's always a lot of fun. I climb and, you know, just hanging out with friends. I'm a high schooler after all. So, so you do the regular cool, s s regular kid stuff on the side and then also... Oh uh, yeah, I do a lot of new, stuff. Some new objects. I try to do way. as much as I can. All right, well, we're all going to remember this name, Mateo Paz. Congra oh, the most important question, what are you doing with the money? Uh, college, man, it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Basically one semester. <laughs> At this point, yeah, yeah. With that 250K. Congratulations, you made Thank us you proud. So Very cool, thanks for coming in. That's amazing. Uh,